Hours ago, North Korea launched what is believed to have been an intercontinental ballistic missile into the sea. Officials in South Korea and Japan say if verified, it would be the first complete test showing the capabilities and the range of Pyongyang's largest missile since 2017. So we're going to head on over to Lucy Kraft, who is in Tokyo, for more on the details surrounding this launch. Lucy. Yes, Japan's defense ministry said a new type of ICBM reached an altitude of close to 4,000 miles before crashing in waters west of Japan. The missile was in the air for about 70 minutes, flying a distance of about 700 miles. The launch occurred while President Biden was in Europe for a round of summits, starting with NATO leaders on the Ukraine crisis. Speaking from Brussels, where the Group of Seven is also gathering, Japanese Prime Minister Kishida called the ICBM launch reckless and unacceptable. He said that additional sanctions on Pyongyang and coordination with the U.S. and South Korea were on the table. The missile was launched from North Korea's east coast. The provocation marks the first time North Korea has tested a banned ICBM since 2017. It caps an unusual upsurge in missile testing this year as Pyongyang prepares to mark the 110th anniversary of the birth of founder Kim Il-sung, the grandfather of current leader Kim Jong-un. Today's launch signals the end of North Korea's moratorium on nuclear and ICBM testing as the isolated nation seeks to pressure Washington back to the negotiating table. Anne-Marie? Lucy, thank you very much. Thank you.